All right, so uh, as Act 2 ends, we can see things in Salem are not going so well. Um, the court has taken in additional people, so now it's not just the outcasts of society like uh, Sarah Good and Osborne that are being uh, thrown under the bus, but it's really the respected people in town. So you have Rebecca is arrested, Elizabeth is arrested, and Martha Corey. Um, so you can see that uh, Abigail and the girls are really focusing on whoever they want now. Uh, grudges are being played out here. Uh, so as we get into Act 3, what I really want you to pay attention to um, is the overall, the trials themselves. Uh, we finally get a look into the courtroom, see how Danforth kind of, kind of uh, runs the court, how he makes his decisions, um, keep track of his thinking. He's very black and white. Uh, there's a lot of, lot of logical fallacies that you're going to be looking for uh, in there as well. Also, look at the way Abigail kind of manipulates everyone uh, just to stay on her side throughout this. Um, focus on the evolution of Hale's character. At the end of Act 2, you can see he's kind of uh, losing some faith in the court. He understands he's conflicted because he has his views on the church. Um, if the church blesses the trials, then everything should be going according to plan. You have Proctor, who accuses him of being like Conscious Pilate. You have that illusion there because Conscious Pilate had the opportunity to release uh, Jesus. So he had a prisoner in Jesus. He asked the crowd, who do you want to release? Do you want to release Jesus or this prisoner? Uh, the crowd chose the prisoner to be released. Pontius Pilate obviously didn't agree with that, but he said, okay, you've chosen. I've washed my hands of your decision. So he's trying to deflect blame off of himself. So in the same way, Proctor is saying, you can't, if, telling Hale, you can't wash your hands of this after Elizabeth is arrested. You have to, you know something bad is going on. You are just as much at fault if you don't do anything as anybody else, as Pontius Pilate. You can't just wash your hands of it. You need to take responsibility for what's happening. So kind of look at Hale as he he evolves and really tries to fight the court uh, at this point. I think he's coming more along to Proctor's line of thinking. Uh, look at the way that Danforth tries to manipulate people as well, because he's guilty of that. Uh, we have a, the other judge, uh, Judge Haythorn. Watch him to uh, just see how the court overall is running. So I hope you like Act 3. There's quite a bit of uh, crazy things that happen in there. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out. Make sure you're doing your worksheets and your projects as well. Have a great day.